Hi, Jamie. I'm taking a look at your work. Um, first, uh, uh, the stars, you know, this looks all right. However, um, in both of these files, you're guilty of using off-white as well as black and white, and you need to stay within the assignment parameters. Now, I notice a use of stroke, and I'm going to ask you to eliminate stroke, particularly in the first assignment that was not called for. Um, you know, you've got uh, something that's akin to a figure ground reversal in the second uh, artwork. However, if you did an exact flip-flop, it would behave better as such. Um, I do like your creative ideas. Hi, Conrad. I'm looking at your work. Uh, first, your um, couple of shapes repeated eight times. I think that's a really compelling solution. I like the way things are a little off-kilter there. Um, in your figure ground reversal, well, you know, that midline doesn't go straight through the corners of the eye, and it might. You know, there should be a rationale for why things aren't symmetrical. This has a quality of winking, both because of um, a notion of a lid dropped, and also those parentheses like marks that suggest movement. Well, hi, Nicholas. Um, it's interesting because in this second assignment, the figure ground reversal, I think you made a big change. And you seem to have springboarded from an idea that I presented your classmate Kelly with. I like the clarity of the design there. I was interested in the other one you had working. Now, on to your first assignment. Well, I'm a big fan of rounded rectangles. I don't know why all pictures should have square corners. But... Um, you know, looking at this, it is an awful lot like the assignment sample. In fact, it is too much like the assignment sample. So I want you to really be on guard in future because I won't be able to accept work that so closely resembles the sample in future. Hi, Kelly. I'm taking a look at your work. Um, you know, I really enjoy this solution for the eight couple of intersecting shape sets. Um, I think you've done a fine job there. I'm, I'm looking now at your figure ground reversal, and it seems as though you um, took an idea I threw out there and did something with it. I like the way that I really have to look to find the stars here. At first, I didn't see the small ones, and I kind of enjoy the game. I'm going to look for an optical illusion I have, and I'll put that up in class. It's a little bit like what you've created here. Hi, Casey. Well, I see you're making some headway with the software. Good work. Well, um, golly, let's see. You've got your eight uh, sets of intersecting shapes from the first art assignment. And uh, while they look pretty good, remember, one of the goals was to take two shapes and not move them, but rearrange the black and white uh, colors. Um, using the two shapes in the very same location. So you don't have that exactly, but I can see you're getting somewhere with using the software. I want you to revisit that assignment and try to better grasp what we were asking for there. Um, you don't need to redo the assignment. I just want you to understand the concept. Now, with regard to your um, second work, the figure ground reversal, well, I think within the big ovals, something's happening. But, you know, to accent that, I'd, I'd flip-flop the black and white in um, the oval inside the square on one side or the other. Well, hi, Mike. Um, looking at your set of um, eight examples of shapes in the same spot with different distributions of black and white and I, I like your couple of shapes and I like the different combinations you've come up with so nice work there now on to the second assignment the figure ground reversal well well that's pretty cool I remember you were one of the first people to uh, to post a draft um, uh, looking at this I'd say a way to improve the design might be to get all of the sun within the composition I'm bothered a little bit by the race being cut off and uh, next I'd say uh, 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 the shapes that you create yourself such as the cityscape are a little more compelling than stock shapes such as uh, stars or maybe a moon 
Okay, here's Zane's work. And um, uh, let's look at a second piece, the figure ground reversal. Well, you know, it seems as though we could probably say that there's an even balance between black and white. It, it might be debatable. I'm seeing the black as being more like a figure or a character, and the white is behaving a little like a halo around it. But this is a great freewheeling example of an assignment solution, a lot of creativity there. And Zane was telling me a little bit about his interests in art and abstraction or non-representation. Now, um, for the sets of shapes, well, um, Zane submitted a new version, and that one actually suits the assignment better, not so much for the uh, software skills, but more for the concept. One thing to consider is omitting stroke, um, as the sample showed, no stroke. Uh, likewise, you should have used no stroke too, and it's a little, it's a little hard to want to do that because sometimes the design isn't so clear without it. Hi, Christina. You know, I'm taking a look at your first assignment and uh, it looks pretty good. You have the concept basically. I'd like you to be more exacting with placement. If we look at the bottom left, for instance, the corner of that black backdrop doesn't meet the other corner. And if we look at the top, we can see that the circle and star are positioned a little higher on the left than on the right. Now, on to your second assignment. Well, this is quite nice. I'd say that Mm, there are little things you could change here, like look at the corners of the horizontal squares in top right and left, and notice how their corners don't stick out so much as the ones opposite them on the bottom. That would be something to touch up. Okay, Paul, well first your um, eight sets of shapes, and uh, You've done a, a pretty nice job here. At first I felt like the little bits of star that were left over behind the circle seems like they were lost, but you know they're helping to describe the circle shapes. The more I look at this, the more accepting I am of the way that you've arranged it all. Um, now, let's see. On to the figure ground reversal. This is really an interesting project, and thank you for submitting a draft. I noticed that you've changed the font with the uh, letters in the corner, and I do think that that makes a, a, a somewhat stronger solution. Hey, Tiffany. Well, you've made some headway with the software, I can see. Um, I'm taking a look at your eight sets of shapes. Now remember, the idea was that the shapes should stay in the exact same place, but the organization of the black and white should change. So, well, I think you've moved your shapes. Go back and take a look at what the assignment was asking you for. You don't need to redo it, but I just want you to grasp the concept. Also, some of your shapes are looking fuzzy, but based on your second assignment, I think you're getting better with the software. Now, I do like the second assignment, and I think that's kind of clever, the way you've alternated circles and squares in the corner, a square inside a circle and a circle inside a square. Nice idea. We could probably say that um, there's not even black and white in that second assignment, but there are a lot of strong points. Well, hi, Deb. I I I'm looking at your first art assignment, and it seems like you've got it. Every um, set of shapes seems to have the shapes in the same spot, and the distribution of black and white has been changed. Now, on to your figure groundwork. Well, I know you were a little reluctant about whether this was what we were looking for, but it's actually a very nice design. It, it doesn't come across as having a narrative or a picture. It's more a pattern along the lines of what we saw Kelly do at first, too. Now, I'm going to point out at the extreme right edge a couple of black lines, for instance, in top right corner and bottom right corner, and there's a line in the middle. Those are things that you could touch up before putting this in your portfolio.